Good morning, guys. <laughs> it is, what is this, Wednesday? It is Wednesday already. So, today, uh, just got up, uh, really uh, kicking off the morning, getting some coffee going, looking at some comments. Uh, I think YouTube is on the fritz again because uh, all the uh, the progress, uh, as far as when you uh, log in, uh, if you're a YouTuber, um, all the, all the, um, uh, basically the tracking on the channel, like uh, what's going on, uh, the uh, uh, the view count, all that is like just a, a flat line straight across. I hope that they fix that. I hope it's not something that they're trying to do something weird or quirky. And uh, so anyway, but okay, so uh, thanks to. Uh, Thanks to Bob here, we got some ballastol, and this is something really cool for me. Uh, somebody, uh, um, what was it, that 454 Packer, I think, said uh, to how shocking it is because over there it's, it's, it's just everywhere. Well, out here it's it's not. Um, it's really weird, is because out here, like as you saw yesterday, uh, Cody wanted to go get CLP, which is the standard break free stuff, and w now that we don't have like a, any really other sporting goods stores it's like Walmart and a couple gun shops so those are I don't even I'm not sure what the gun shop the other gun shop sells I'm not sure if he actually has the break free I think he has a slip 2000 and uh, one other um, one other brand but anyway uh, Walmart is the place if you want CLP you go there you know, that usually where you get that stuff. Uh, I've had bad experience with, even though I was a big fan of it and really wanted to, really wanted it to work. I had really a bad experience with Frog Lube and Seal One. Uh, those two lubricants. Uh, what really got me on those was it was all biodegradable, and it, it just uh, that was really what sold me because working with it at work. Uh, just constantly having just it saturated on your hands is just really bad. Um, but what I didn't like about it is if it comes in contact with any kind of other uh, lubricant or petroleum-based stuff, it turns into gum. Um, I even tried my best to rid my products of all the other stuff, and it still did it. It still turned into black, just like this tar stuff that really just gummed up the whole gun. It was uh, Cody. In fact, had to boil his revolver, his Taurus uh, 38. Had to strip that thing, take, take the grips off. He couldn't even like I think get the parts out of it. I think he had to boil the whole gun. Um, I remember that's what he told me prior to, and I'm like, what really? What what is going on? I can't believe you're having all these problems. Um, later down the line, I started noticing on my guns. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Like I'm actually noticing this. It's like totally gummed up. So uh, it kind of sucks. It sucks in the sense that uh, it probably was had a potential to be a good product, but maybe that was its ultimate flaw. But getting to try this is really cool. I uh, out here you just don't see this. I feel so lucky out here because I think I'm like the, probably the only person that has a bottle of this. Uh, no joke. I mean Amazon won't ship it to you, even though it's the non aerosol. I actually just tried again right before you uh, you sent this over thank you very much I, I even tried it one more time just to see and that was a no-go uh, they oh no we can't ship it to you ballastol themselves won't ship it uh, midway brownells all those other companies they're just like just as bad i mean they won't even ship uh midway wouldn't even ship me this uh this lee stuff here let me go grab it real quick i'm back that was fast right <laughs> um when i was casting my own lead bullets uh, this was during the, the 2013 like run where nothing was available uh, you had to buy the uh, sizing die for the by Lee to size the lead bullet after well it came with this it comes with this liquid uh, you can see it there it's actually still in the bag liquid alox bullet lube so I couldn't get the sizing die the midway wouldn't ship it to me because because of this and I asked them, I said, well then, will you remove this product and just send me the dye? I don't need this, I, I really need the dye. No, we can't do that. Um, and I can't tell you how many times it's just like, it's just a total loss. Um, when you wanna order stuff out here, you can't get nothing. You, you can't, uh, I remember looking into wanting to uh, 
um, gold inlay a couple of guns with the stampings. You can't get the gold inlay kit. Uh, just it's endless. It's just so endless amount of stuff. They they won't chip you. They can't. You know. It's just so. Um, um, I contacted Lee Precision directly, and I told him what was happening. And the lady at Lee Precision said, "That's ridiculous. I don't understand what you're why. It's just wax." And I like, yeah. Well, I even asked them to remove the to remove the product, and uh, they they wouldn't do it. So I'm just, I'm just actually trying to look and see. I've been looked at this stuff for so long to see if it was indeed some kind of. Uh, but no, I don't see anything on it. But she she said that was she was told me like that's just silly and so she they Lee uh, Precision directly sent me those sizing dies with this stuff and in fact um, I even I said well is I asked them about it is it all that necessary she goes well yeah it works so I said well give me can you send me some she goes absolutely it's just wax so I got two extra bottles of the stuff back when I was doing this so there you go uh, that's kind of the a little. Uh, I know I've covered it before a little kind of basis on like man you can't get nothing shipped out here it's just it, I've even had companies tell me oh you know where you're not part of the United States we can't ship you it's like what <laughs> okay I'm like a kid in the candy store getting ready to do this uh, I really wanted to show you guys um, this this one here is a little dirty so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hose her down <laughs> <laughs> All right, remove the base pin, and um, yeah, okay, set that aside, and yeah, you can probably tell that that cylinder's a bit dirty. You know what's funny is, uh, I even prior to to because uh, I was always fascinated with this, I just wanted to try it so bad. Uh, I remember reading all these things. People like there was some people that. It said all these uh, different things about it yet, but then you look at somebody like Hickok 45 and they're like just like soaking their guns in it. And there are people that go, oh, you should never do that. <laughs> but then it's like you got people like Hickok 45, it's like he claims he's been doing it for like ages. So it's, it's funny, it's hilarious um, and all this stuff out here. So anyway, um, I'm just going to kind of do this uh, really like how I would normally do this. I, I guess if I'm doing something uh, different here or whatever, um, let me know. Bob, I guess you use this stuff a lot. I know maybe, um, let's see here. Is there a different, oh. there we go. See, I'm just trying to like uh, <laughs> not use so much of it because you can't get it out of here. Oh, okay. You do the barrel. The hammer, see the that right there is just always so nasty. Oh, I like this 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 um, spray is so much easier to work with. I I don't like aerosol stuff. Um, I guess it has its its um, its place, that's for sure. But I kind of don't care for it. I kind of don't care. <laughs> Love that CD, by the way. All right, get that. So yeah, I guess I'm um, gonna go ahead and uh, let that sit. I'll come back to it uh, later on the after work. Got some. Use the excess. It says it's good on leather. I got this this um, buck case, buck knife case that uh, has somewhat dried out, so I put some on there, why not? <laughs> Savor the ballastol, might as well use it. This actually got this from a really good friend of mine, uh, it was his, and so it's kind of one of those sentimental things, keep it mostly in the safe. Um, interesting. I the when you want when you um, I never experienced that before. Um, if you don't actually use soap, 
it, it does, like it does say, it emulsifies with water. And I did remember uh, seeing a guy do a video where he mixed some of this stuff with water to clean the black powder uh, off his uh, pistol. Interesting. Um, the, this is where I filmed this, just right here. Uh, this is cool because you guys will appreciate this. Uh, those of you that have been with the channel, the main channel for a while. This is actually the exact location where I filmed um, that staining polymer uh, ivory grips. Uh, the, the fake polymer grips that you get from... Uh, where I get those from brown owls. They were the uh, um, NC Ordnance Company. And this is right where here I, I did the video, right here. In fact, here's the stuff. So there is the uh, leather dye, and here they are. Those are the ones from that video. I stained them while I was trying to figure out how to do this kind of stuff. <laughs> What's up, you guys? I'm. <laughs> Got here at work and just kind of hanging out in the back of the shop, really just uh, not going out to the sales floor. Just hanging out in the back because <laughs> there's nothing going on over here. Um, I'm real quick here at work. <laughs> well, uh, internet surfing here. Here's a um, 1911 magazine eight rounder. Uh, this is made by Wilson Combat. This is otherwise known as the Vickers Duty magazine. Uh, I had to look at this twice. Uh, I thought you get four of them, but no, you. Uh, that's only the number of reviews. I was uh, reading that wrong. It is fifty-five dollars for one. Um, the reviews, obviously, it's got great reviews, but I, I kind of wonder. I don't know. I, I want to, I'm kind of curious. Um, I am a fan of Wilson Combat magazine magazines, uh, but. Uh, that's a man that's up there in price I tell you uh, see even this other one here the, this is an aluminum base pad again is 55 now what he's done here is there's no uh, what he claims is there's no holes or slits in the magazine tube so you can get a, nothing get in there there's one on the bottom here I guess that's to tell you that it's loaded full and of course that one being necessary and this one's got a uh, aluminum base pad again it's a uh, 54.95 that's for one and plus the shipping looking at some of the uh, this is the one that I remember reading a lot about I kind of wanted to test this one out the this is the elite tactical magazine Looks like they've added uh, numbers, numbers to it with the slots cut out of it. This one's, these ones are 35. Solid reviews, five stars right across the board. Um, 77 reviews, all good. It does make me uh, curious about where the extra money goes. I'm one to, I always say I'm not one to bash products, but. I do want to see the price. I do want to see where where it all comes into play. And I know he's got the uh, flat wire spring going through those. For a break and found this. I don't know. I, I've never seen it before, so it's new to me. Maybe some of you have seen it. Uh, I've not seen this flavor yet. Uh, it's water or strawberry watermelon vitamin water. What does it say? Ma, our moms always told us not to bottle up your our feelings little did they know uh, we were feeling delicious and refreshing <laughs> okay so it says all this uh, yada yada oh, let's go ahead and try it because I've not tried this interesting it smells good Oh, that's pretty good. It's not overpoweringly uh, sweet, but yet has a lot of flavor from that strawberry and watermelon. That's pretty good. Kind of like that. Hey guys, well, this is my friend Moonshine here, and he's a security guard outside, and he takes care of this parking lot and makes sure that we don't have all the trouble. So why do they call you Moonshine? Well, back in the day, I spent a couple years making it. And yeah? Yeah, it was a learning experience. It was a lot of fun. And... Uh, 
I drank a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy that comes here and hangs out with me at work and keeps uh, we keep each other sane. Uh, it's a, we have a lot of fun talking yeah. about a lot of stuff, oh, yeah. don't we? <laughs> definitely. So, but yeah, out here. Uh, Ever since he took over, it's been really great. And at six foot three, I don't think you've run into too much trouble, do you? No, just some little doorways. Uh, <laughs> you know, some maybe a little lower than that. I don't have that problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you may be seeing him in a vlog or two coming up here. So we'll keep you posted. Thanks, right. Moonshine, for hey, showing no up problem. in here. Thank you for having me here. Let me stay. Yeah. Here's a cool gun that. Uh, may have to do a video on. In fact, uh, we are going to do a video on it. But this is one that uh, came in with the bunch. Uh, this is also belongs to the same person that owns that Colt and nickel plated that uh, kind of did not uh, hold up because of neglect. But uh, this is a Ruger Vocero. Vocero. That's the thing about the Rugers is the loading gate does uh, activate the uh, cylinder to rotate. This one's got some uh, type of uh, inlays and things so but it's kind of rusty a little bit and there's that uh, type of grip these are older so they actually did kind of yellow out a, a tab just a touch but um, I'm not I, I always like more yellowing to mine as that's kind of what JW has but um, yeah Ruger So let's try it. I uh, have been dying to see if this if this works. How well it works. Got a patch. Yes. Oops. Wow, that's pretty cool. That does work pretty good. two on there. Let's see if we can cram it in there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yes, I finally got to Ballastol a gun. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is so cool. I finally got to use Ballastol. It has a really um, interesting odor to it. Actually, I, I kind of like that, the odor. <laughs> oh, you're going to run behind the picture, aren't you? Love that tree, love the way it looks. Now that's some shoes.
Salt powder, uh, heavy whipping cream, and milk. Just kind of making this up. Oops. Light went out. Light. There's the light. Well, that's gonna be it, you guys. I'm uh, gonna do a little outro here, and uh, yeah, that's um, and that's Monday. A mo or no? <laughs> so, see, it's my Monday, so that's why I get confused. It's Wednesday for some people. It's Hump Day. That's the uh, middle of the week day. That's that. Ah, I wish I just wish Friday was closer. Kind of a day. So anyway, we did uh, test out the ballastol man that is a long time coming that was the right there i wanted to video it because that is the first time i ever got to use this and i know i'm just like so excited about it because i never ever got to use this stuff i have heard about it i saw so much stuff about it and everybody it's like the majority of the the gun channels they all i mean they've all used it and it's like i have not used it so i'm very fortunate to have people and the ama are amazing and you sent me this so really cool anyway there's uh, i'm just uh i'm really thrilled about it so that's really cool i'm thrilled about a lot of things <laughs> but uh anyway we're gonna get this uh this one to a close um it was uh moonshine yes that is uh my buddy moonshine down where I work he's a security guard he does a really good job he's also a really funny person um, so uh, he'll he's always been one he always uh, bothered me about hey why don't you put me in a video why don't you put me in a video so we put him in a video how's that so he may uh, show up pop up here and there and in, uh, in the vlog so watch out for moonshine because he comes through um, so <laughs> anyway um, like the hat uh, thank you very much. I'm going to wear it. <laughs> You'll be seeing it in the vlogs, Edward. So, um, yeah, thank you. And hopefully you saw the um, the Hangout video. So that, that went up. That went up today. Uh, I think it went up around the, kind of a nighttime in wherever you were at. So maybe not so much in Florida. I think the, that's a pretty big uh, time, time jump over there. So, but anyhow... Alrighty, I'm gonna get out of here. Jeez, I can't believe we're creeping up to hundred the hundredth vlog right away. I gotta get cracking on your gift, your giveaway. So <laughs> thanks for watching you guys. Um I left Bruce exactly where he was yesterday because some of the people didn't find him. Some people did. Or did you?